natural disasters aren't always as natural as we think they are. A famous hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, لا تقوم ساعة حتى يقبض العلم وتكثر الزلازل ويتقارب الزمان وتظهر الفتن ويكثر الهرج أي القتل حتى يكثر فيكم المال فيفيض. He said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the hour will not come until six things happen. Knowledge is taken away. How? By the death of the scholars. Is that just because all scholars die or is that because we fail to act on the mandate of transferring the sacred knowledge and formulating greater institutions and people that care for this ilm and want to pass it down and live in accordance with it? It's both. There's a human component to it. And earthquakes being frequent, there's a human component to that as well. And when it comes to time passing quickly, there's a loss of barakah, a loss of blessing in time. Why is that? As Ibn Hajar rahimahullah says, because of the insertion of sin into that time. Sins deplete barakah, they deplete the blessing that we have in our time. Until tadharul fitan, until affliction starts to appear. And then murder increases, and people don't even know why they're killing anymore. That's certainly a human component. We don't say to the murderer, you murdered because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you to do so even as we hope for the reward for the murdered, there's a human component. And money spreads through greed. All of these things are interconnected and they all have a human action involved within them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that corruption has appeared on the land and on the seas because of what man's hands have earned. And in the process, they taste some of what they have earned so that they may return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that the place where we are all compensated for our good or our evil, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people of righteousness, is a place where we are entirely compensated for good and forgiven for the harm that we have. But this ayah is profound because extreme weather is a response to extreme human behavior and negligence. Whether you speak of our sins collectively or the sin of the greedy sabotaging the climate, all of it is connected. And also the idea of the earth quaking is a reminder of what? Of a day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِذَا زُلْزِلَةِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا The thing that you consider the most stable in this dunya is the earth beneath you. When there comes a day when people cannot even look down and depend upon the earth being stable anymore, then what hope do they have in the stability of dunya as a whole? Except that they come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's a reminder. إِذَا زُلْزِلَةِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا وَأَخْرَجَةِ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا The day that that ultimate quake comes and everything is expelled from within and then all the secrets and the deeds are put forth. Remember that you are not in control like you think you are. Remember that you are more vulnerable than you think you are. You never go to sleep thinking that I might wake up in the middle of an earthquake. No one went to sleep that night thinking that that was a possibility. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on them all. That's a reminder for all of us. To turn back to our Creator because He is inevitable. 